Hey brothers, this is Dave Gerhauser of Jigmeister Custom Lures. What I have for you tonight is an introduction to um, some of my specialty bass uh, goby sculpin baits. Um, I've been working really hard on uh, developing these baits. Right here what you see is a flat style jig head that's threaded in to the head of this uh, little three inch dart and goby. The line threaded into the head, the jig head's pulled up, and then it's cinched. This is something that I came up with to uh, make this particular rig very, very realistic. And in a, in a second here, I'm going to show you the incredible action on this lure in the water. This particular flat style jig head that I have, someone you can't buy, it's something that I make uh, custom. And uh, I've been uh, working real hard tinkering with my baits because, you know, bass and walleye season's coming up here pretty quick. Well, I'm going to drop it here in the tank and give you a demonstration. Now, these particular baits, when we field tested them last year, were very, very effective on uh, largemouth and uh, smallmouth baits, uh, smallmouth bass. This particular lure takes on a life of its own because the hydrodynamic design of the front fins cause it to glide on every little jig. This particular bait, like I say, is a three inch model um, of a Eurasian goby which was introduced to the St. Lawrence Seaway in the Great Lakes by in the ballast tanks of uh, freighters coming over from Asia. This particular goby is a very, very important food item for smallmouth bass. And I have really, really done my best to work on uh, making these baits extremely realistic. Um, every time you jig that rod, you drag it across the bottom, the tail is up. Those large mouth, small mouth, and walleye predator fish love to see a uh, goby or a sculpin um, on the bottom not paying attention with the tail up like that they'll swim up right behind it and suck it in and this particular style of jig head makes this thing almost Texas rigged and it's very very weedless and almost impossible to snag now for you boys looking for uh, lures for drop shotting jigging well, and this is a very very effective ultra finesse bait and I have more pictures of them on Facebook um, I do sell them from time to time but I am a very small time lure maker but things are changing for me have more national exposure on Facebook I've been contacted by some major magazine editors and um, I'm gonna pull this goby or maybe just leave it there I got another rod rigged up I've got a another kind of mini goby here that's um, got some the fins are a little bit further back on it. You see that realistic coloring with uh, the white belly? It's got kind of a beveled tail. I'm always tinkering with my baits. This happens to be a 16th ounce jig head. Now watch the incredible action on this particular lure when I drop it in the tank. Every time you pop that rod tip, those fins undulate just like the real goby. And you can just see this type of bait um, any place where you're out there fishing for smallmouth bass. And as it goes along the bottom, it just looks extremely realistic. Anyway, if you guys are interested in these baits, contact me on uh, Dave Gearhauser or David John Gearhauser on Facebook or uh, Jigmeister Custom Lures. I don't have a website set up yet. But in most of the contact that I've been doing with folks has been on Facebook. But anyway, this is a 3 inch wide fin dart and goby, a custom creation of a very realistic looking uh, goby bait from uh, Jigmeister Custom Lures. This is uh, the Jigmeister, Jiggy, signing off. Uh, see you guys out on the water. Bye.